friends hope you are doing good and uh, i hope yesterday what we discussed about writing the research article in the previous video uh, it has been helpful for you and today we are going to discuss about the literature review Literate, literature review is one of the most important part when we start writing the research article or research uh, paper so i have just uh, made my whiteboard ready with some uh, information which i'll be explaining one by one and uh, i hope it will be useful for your purpose see when we start the literature review the meaning of literature review is or you can say the literature review consist of investigation investigation is of what investigation of the research topic yesterday we, we discussed that when we start writing the research paper first we have to find the research idea means by narrowing our topic or thinking about that what we can write or what i can write or what should be my research idea so when we just come to that idea okay let me do some research on this particular topic so we think about the research and think about the literature review so literature review consists of investigation of the research topic and we get research topic via the process of systematic review yesterday we discussed that we do some systematic review in order to get the research topic and that includes the identifying the keywords okay up to here uh, i hope it is clear that literature review consists of investigation of the research topic which we get via the process of systematic review which includes the identifying means uh, identifying the keywords also when we start the literature review it establishes the credibility and significance see when we select any topic any idea so our the basic purpose is that uh, or to find the previous uh, research which is done by the previous researcher so unless or until we find the credibility or the significance to our literature uh, what uh, means idea for what we are searching so it won't be very much useful for writing the paper so the credibility and the significance of the information which we are searching is very very important while writing the research paper so the literature review also establishes the credibility and significance so when we do the literature review we have to be very very careful second thing that it informs about four things it helps literature review. when we do literature review literature uh, start literature review we get so many option out of it it informs about our research design when we think of researching on any idea we perhaps may not be aware in detail what has been done or what i have to do but when we start literature review we start getting the research design what should be design of my research it also helps to create the framework of my research and helps to formulate the hypothesis because unless or until you create the hypothesis you may not be very appropriate to your research output and your research may fluctuate the originality of your research may fluctuate so the hypothesis is very very important when we start research work so literature review it informs about research work because it helps you to find the research gap and it also helps you to find the relevant information about your idea it helps to create the framework and also to formulate the hypothesis which is very very important in order to complete your research literature review also helps to make your research operational because it gives some i a uh, means clear picture what i have to do what you have to do what researcher has to do so in that case it also helps to make your research operational it also helps to collect the data because we cannot start data collection unless or until we get the research problem and coming to this this uh, just after this the data collection uh, totally depends on your research problem because 
what we are researching unless or until we know the exact problem or we try to know the exact problem we cannot formulate the questionnaire or we cannot start the data collection so literature review helps to uh, to find or in data collection with the help of the questionnaire or different method and uh, last it also helps to analyze the data we get with the help of literature review, uh, search literature, we get the gap between the research already done and now what is the scenario. So it also helps to analyze the data based on the data which we have collected. So the first, the, it establishes the credibility and significance. Second, it informs about research design. It helps to create framework and hypothesis. It makes your research operational. It helps to uh, in data collection and also it helps in analyzing the data. Now, the third, the fourth one, the first one we discuss this. Second, we discuss about the credibility and significance. Third, we discuss about the research design, framework, hypothesis, operationalization, data collection, data analysis. Now the fourth one we are going to discuss about the literature review, it refines our research problem which is generated with when we get the research topic and we get it defined by the research questions. So it helps to refine our research question, research problem as defined by research problem, the literature review helps to just first helps to find the research problem and also it helps to create the research question. So up to here when we complete the literature review and get the ident means we identify the keyword which is useful for searching the existing literature. Here we get the keyword and now we will start searching the literature which is related to our idea. So just see here, why do we identify the keyword? The question comes here that why do we identify the keyword? Since yesterday we have been discussing about this. Why? Because it is related to our research question, this portion. We have the ID keyword and it is directly related to our research question because if we do not have idea, we will not start researching, we will not start uh, reviewing the literature and will not come to know about the research problem and unless or until we are clear about research problem we cannot uh, I mean, proceed further and in, uh, this particular keyword what we get out of literature review it is related to concept I am coming to this person when we start uh, searching the literature so when we identify the keyword which is directly related to our research question it is used for what it is used for searching the existing literature this portion it is used for searching the existing lit literature which is totally based on or consists of the previous studies just now in the beginning we have discussed that we are focusing on the previous study because we are doing the literature review and this previous studies uh, is for what for three reasons we do the previous study first we get concept first we get concept second we get theory and the third we get methods three things we get with the help of previous studies which is related to our key keyword and the previous study whatever has been done whatever the studies have been done it may be of three types it may be conceptual which is generally in qualitative in nature or it may be empirical generally empirical study is of two types either it can be qualitative or one questionnaire and the last one is the older which is more recent so when we identify keywords, start searching the existing li literature which is totally consisting of previous study for getting the concept, theory and methods and uh, methods, it can be of three types conceptual, empirical, older now here, you have, here we need to think about this method when we start the existing literature search 
of the previous study it gives our uh, means uh, helps to find the method which is useful for our research design as already we discussed that this literature review informs about research design and this we clarify or make it more clear when we start literature search and get the method so it is useful for research design and now moving to the evaluation this searching the existing lit literature before moving I, I have not yet finished this portion how do we get the data the question is that when we start the literature search how do we get the data generally it is uh, secondary data sources or secondary source of information in nature and we get it either in electronic database format nowadays or offline that means it may be available in the print copy or it may be available in the bound volumes or it may be available online in the form of electronic database and we get either in library or online that means nowadays most of the libraries or even in Google or even in some other search engine we get frequently lot of in number of information but while doing this we have to ensure that it is credible and significant to our research so when we uh, uh, we are done with the searching the existing literature we come to the evaluation part why do we evaluate because we have to come to the conclusion for we do the evaluation for elements for quality and find the research gap. We have collected the information, we have collected the literature on uh, the idea on which we are ready to do the research. So if we evaluate the result, uh, means whatever we have searched for getting three things for relevancy, for quality and find the research gap. So all this will help to document or to prepare the findings when we start evaluation we get the result we start getting the outcome we start getting the uh, 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 document or you can say it, we can be ready for documentation because we start coming to the conclusion and this can be done by noting or through by referencing we note it down why do we note it down because it will prepare for mind mapping we map our mind with the idea which we have generated here uh, before we start writing the paper so it helps when we get the result out of I means after evaluating our search result we get uh, information that we note down which prepares our mind yes we can go ahead now and this particular information what we have collected based on different literature will be helpful to complete our research and the second portion while documenting or while writing the paper we have to think about this reference which is uh, means used with the help of citation and why do we use citation the first is that we create the bibliography uh, the purpose of creating the bibliography or citation is to give the credit to the original author because when we start literature search we get the information of other author who have already done the work so we give them credit or we honor them by citing their work in our paper so that their work is cited and can prepare the bibliography based on our citation and the second thing we cite the previous work or the work of the different author to avoid plagiarism this is very very important issue to avoid plagiarism today um, uh, uh, when we write the paper uh, I should not say but generally it is said it is seen that while writing the paper we simply copy and paste and that creates the problem of plagiarism we should never do that if at all we are referencing if you are referring any document we should give credit to the original author so that whoever has done the research work can get credit and the paper gets cited in your research work and finally we analyze the topic we get the result we prepare the documentation and we get the idea we get the uh, research gap we get the information to proceed in our research further 
So I hope this particular information will help you when you start writing the research paper and also it will help you to carry your research effectively. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it will be uh, very useful for your research work. Many more in next video. Stay updated with Library Guide. Thank you and have a nice day.